There we go, fish on, yeah buddy. Rusty reels, bringing Good it in. Good morning. Bringing it in. How we doing guys? It's gonna become the next sheep's head slayer. Go the old little old town crew this morning. So we're gonna be heading out, doing some sheep's head hunting today. That's the goal. Try to get some lunkers, hoping to shoot for a PB today. Not that easy to do, but um, I think it's totally possible. They've been coming in like crazy. Last several weeks been running really well. So that's the hope today, man. Gonna catch that uh, shift and catch that incoming tide and hopefully it's gonna be fire. The tide is perfect. All the, uh, the salooners are perfect. Everything, everything lines up with the, with the new moon and all the other goodness. So, I mean, I've got a really good feeling about today and um, hopefully Rusty and I can get out there, get on them, and uh, give you guys some good content. Stay tuned. Starting off this morning, I'm gonna get some oysters, stop at the bridge here, get some oysters, hopefully have some uh, green mussels mixed in there with them. That would be really nice, because I know they hit those just as well. So yeah, Rusty, he's got, he's got some shrimp, live shrimp. Looking forward to an epic day. Calling my shot, it's happening on this drop. We're gonna hook into one on this drop, people. Fish on. It doesn't seem like he's fighting, he's coming straight up. Oh my goodness. We called it, but it's a pinfish. <laughs> There it is, folks, man. There it is. Fish on. That's better. It's not going to keep, but target species. Start. <laughs> yep. All right, get my hook back. All right, guys, little guy is not going to keep, but he's what we're looking for. So it's amazing the tangles you can get on your rod. You like, you just brought it up and all of a sudden you're all tangled up. Oh, <laughs> I got so excited. Oh my goodness. Tell me you do that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty's got one on. Looks like he's fighting it. Looks like a good fish. What you got? Nice, that'll keep. Yeah. All right. All right, it's been a slow day, but heading now to this wonderful jungle of pilings that the sheep said so adore. Oh, see one right there. Look at that, man. Look at that, they... I can see them on the pilings today, so that's really good. That's a good sign, so they should be chewing. Big old tree flowing right here. Fish on. It's the heaviest fish of the day so far. All right. Opa. All right, calm, 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 calm. Don't, don't go stabbing me. Okay. All right. This is gonna be our first keeper for today. It's not a giant, but
but he's a keeper. And that's what matters. Keeper sheeper number one in the boat, right on. But I really don't like that I don't see Rusty anywhere. Uh, it's no good, so I'm gonna maybe head uh, head back head back and see where where he's at. Going back down, the last two hits, I seem to have taken it, but did not get the hook. And it looks like we're going again. Got some more line out. Oh, we're gonna slay rat in here. That's it. Oh, he's a big fish. Oh, come on, come on. Stay pinned. Stay pinned, buddy. Dang, that's a fat one. He's fighting. Come on, come on. Oh, my goodness. Man, he's fighting to the bitter end. Oh man, been waiting for that guy. All right, he's heavy. He is heavy. All right guys, this is our second keeper. He's a lot better than our first. Looks like he swallowed this a bit, but not as bad. But that's our fish. Not a bad fish. It's another spot that always produces. So he's measuring in at 16 inches. It's a nice fish. All right, let's get another one. Heavy fish. <laughs> Man, they're killing the oysters, brother. Man, he's digging. Oh, okay. I had him around the fin, too. It's still a good fish. inch fish he'll keep going in the box
Fish on. Wow. He is not fighting for how, how, big, he, how big he is. He did not fight at all. What's that all about? Wow. This guy just threw in the towel. He said, Mom, I'm coming home. Very surprised at that. Too late now, buddy. You can't fight now. Now right in the corner of the mouth. It's a good fish. A real good fish. Sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half. I think he's the biggest of the day for me. All right, we just picked up another 16 and a half inch sheeper. And I just shucked an oyster that was really big. So I'm gonna get two pieces out of it. That's nice. But uh, yeah, we put the split shot on to get down. Oh, it was immediate, buddy. Yeah. Immediate. I was just talking to myself over here and I lost it because I wasn't paying attention. Did not expect it. Wasn't paying as much attention because I was just trying to get down and explaining what was going on and I totally missed that strike. It happened on the way down. Drop this other piece. Hopefully whoever is there is looking for more. And I'll try to pay attention this time. Fish on. He's smaller, but he's fighting really nice. It's really dark. Come on. All right, he's pretty small. We're not gonna keep him, but uh, good catch. Yeah, I missed one while you were fighting that snook. Oh, I didn't miss that guy, at least not on the hookup. Fish on, oh boy. Oh, this is a monster. It's a monster. Oh, come on, come on. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Oh, got him. Yes. <laughs> it's another big dog. It's so dark, man. They're on fire, Rusk. I'm telling you, get some oysters. Oh, this is a big fish, guys. Big fish. He's not happy to be in my kayak. Well, at least not as happy as I am to have him here. He's my guest of honor. Come on. Come on, Steven. I could let him see my face. But I couldn't have anybody see my face, Steven. Come on. Ah, that is not in. So I, I know I'm dealing with a little bit larger fish. When I can't get my grips under the gill. There we go. So the hook caught the net here and came out the other side. That's not good. Okay, let's see. Well, this is one of those coated nets. So uh, there we go. Perfect. See if we can feed that through again. Give him a nice little lip piercing. There we go. Right in the top of the lip. Good hook set. This guy was not coming off. No bad. No, no matter how bad he wanted to. All right. 
And he fought like a beast. Look at he's a tank. He's fat. I say what he's a good uh, 17, close to 18, I'm guessing. How about we stop guessing? We find out. He is uh, 17 on the button. On the button, 17 inch cheaper. Beautiful fish. This spot is money. So, Victor, sorry that you had a family emergency. Would've been nice to have you out here, get you on your first sheep set, but we'll make it happen, brother. I don't know if my bait lasted. Gotta check it. Nope. Don't wanna waste time hoping I have a bait. Better find out and get another one down there quickly. Am I gonna catch a sheep or hoping? Oh man, whoa, what do we got? This is, this is a strong fish. I don't know what it is, it could be a drum. Haven't seen him yet. Oh, it's a drum. It's a nice drum. Oh, I hope I'm recording. Yeah, that actually just happened. Wow. Literally said, I hope I'm recording and the battery dies on that spot on my first big ugly in the kayak. Yeah. Well, here's some footage after the fact. All right guys, I just totally tangled with a big ugly in my kayak, first one in the kayak, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, I did not measure this thing yet, so I'm gonna do that now, but just to give you a close up of the guy. Oh, pick him up here. Look at that dude. Put him right up against me, to give you an idea of how big he is. Solid, solid drum. It was such a fun fight. And he's he's still fighting. He, he's not giving up. Listen to that. That's why, that's why we call him a drum. Redfish do that. These black drum do that. Trout do that, the males. Let's get a measurement on this guy. Get him in there. So 28 three quarters. So that's on the Real Adventure kayak fishing measuring board. Uh, he's just shy of 29. Maybe we can even call him 29 by an eighth of an inch, but whatever. It's still it's a big fish. It's an awesome fish catch in the kayak. So awesome. Um, shout out to Tim for building his board. He's selling them and uh, on August, and I'm sorry, April 3rd, there's a tournament that RAFK is gonna be putting up. Um, it's hosting, check it out on the Facebook page and on the main website. I'll, I'll link that down below. But a really good cause for uh, a police officer that was killed in action, it's the longest redfish catch photo release. So 
If anything, go and support that event. Um, I'll put all the details in, in the description and go check it out. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Can't believe how much energy this thing still has. That's crazy. Another strong fish. Respectable. Respectable flow is. Come on. I tell you what, anybody wants to argue the oysters thing, <laughs> you really can't. So we got another nice fish here. Uh, just dropping oysters down. Kind of running low on oysters. Um, and what is this? I don't even know what count this is. I think it's number six keeper. I want to say it's the six keeper, but I kept losing my split shots. Like, I don't know, I just wasn't putting them on well enough or whatever the case might have been, but I kept losing them. So I'm like, well, I don't want to pull out another split shot. I'm just going to drop it down free line. And, uh, this guy hit it free line, so they don't really care. Uh, obviously, the split shot just helps me get down to the bottom uh, a lot quicker because that's where most of these big guys are, hanging out at the bottom. I mean, it's all been decent fish today. I mean, here's another one, probably another 17 inch, 16, 17 inch fish again. We'll measure them up. Nose them in. Say 17 and a half pinch tail. Pinch tail, 17 and a half inch fish. So he takes the biggest of the day. But I know that they, you know, obviously they have no problem eating them, breaking them open. Oh. <laughs> this game, this guy may not come back up. He may not come back up. He's just dead weight right now. Oh, it... oh, I knew it. I knew it. Huh? Oh, it was a drum for sure. Man, that thing was, that was a tank. And this is all frayed up, you know, he got me on that, got me on that piling for sure. That was bigger than the last one without a doubt. <laughs>